Greetings, sisters, people, and surrounded by freaks. So welcome back to Pokemon 3D. It's again sunset. I missed it from last episode. How dare I not record during sunset? So I am over here uh, enjoying a nice romantic sunset with my Ampharos in uh, I don't remember Six Island, maybe yes. While editing last episode, I actually noticed that I am. Uh, the shame of every Keldivac in Pirate in the world, which is just me, so I, I am ashamed of myself, I missed an item, which obviously I will be so petty to go collect it right now. There it is! Ah, uh, how dare you trying to escape! More pirate booty for me! What is this even? Dragon Scale, or I already had it, but well, I couldn't just let it rot here, it was all your fault! Hiker, here I am back. This little village, well, it's just two houses. Then again, New Bark Town is what, three, four houses? So this counts as a village too, I guess. Has no name actually, it's just water path, unless it's pattern bush. Let's explore and see what's inside this house. Uh huh. Uh huh, what are you hiding? My height is 76.0. 76. 6.0 inches on the bottom. I know this is precise because my neighbor measured me. What? 67 inches, what's that? First of all, I'm European, I don't understand your primitive language. I don't know how much is an inch. Centimeters! Speak like a civilized person. 76. Point zero. But isn't like inch uh, quite a small measure, so 67 is not really much, I think. I'm not sure, why would I know these things? Wanted! The ultimate horn! You know anything about this, Sudowoodo? Sudowoodo looked up at the sky and shouted <laughs> As expected from someone as dumb. Okay, are you one of those uh, aroma girls or are you a breeder, if you know what I mean? I let Pleasant Breeze lead me all the way here. Aroma Lady Rose. Good job! You bug the music. Sunkern is so weak that I should be able to defeat it with a faint attack, right? Tell me I'm right. Tell me Sudovudo is not so pathetic, okay? Sunkern is actually cute. I like Sunkern. Good job, Sudovudo. Amazing. Sunflora. No, I don't trust you, Sudovudo. <laughs> Going against Sunflora. Let's go with Noctowl. Great, I can't wait to edit in all the music once again. Hooray! Sunny day! Yay! But I will defeat you anyway with a fly. Or maybe that guy of the 67 inches was talking about his... I mean, what? Nah. Probably though he was talking about his sprite. Uh, just, well, I don't know how much is an inch. I know that I'm six feet tall, whatever that means. Feet of who anyway? Stop with your fetishes. 183 centimeters. Rose! Oh, Aroma Lady Rose. It makes sense. You chose your profession from your name. Giggle! Jiggle! I don't know how to pronounce <laughs> You're so cute when you're determined. <laughs> For a second, I actually read. You're so cute when you're retarded. <laughs> Why thank you? Why thank you? I want to go to the woods over there, but there are lots of bugs. But oh, I'm not going there. No, I'm going to end this episode here. They scared me a little. I, I know, I know how you feel. Well, you you are a aroma lady anyway. You should be used to bugs uh, if you stay around flowers that much. Wait, there was an item over here. Where is it? Oh, I have to surf uh, to actually get it. I want you to even use a rapper right now because I mean it's bug music time anyway. I didn't want to talk to you really, Sudowoodo, but so your Pokemon seems happy about the great weather. I'm glad, Sudowoodo. I mean, after all, I care about you. Come on, Elixir. I, I didn't want to talk to you again, but I see you're really talkative. Sudowoodo is feeling nervous and a touch claustrophobic. Great. His moment of sanity already is already gone. At this point, let's raid this house as well. Oh, I never see this sprite. Hera, Hera, Hera Cross, big and shiny, is the bug boss. Love it, need it, Hera Cross. Stay away from me. Stay away from me with your disgusting insects. No, 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 no. Defusion, 
free throw, free, d d just burn everything to the ground. I was like, oh, what a cu cute lady, probably a kid, actually, considering how she speaks. Head across, fuck off. I mean, I, I don't find any bug Pokemon disgusting, as I said. It's just that I find bugs disgusting. And Heracross, I, I can only imagine the, the, the bug that Heracross is based on. I have shivers, just, no, I don't want to think about it anymore. So, wait, but... Wanted, the ultimate horn. She wants a Heracross. Does she want me to go into the woods, which probably is that way, to catch a Heracross? and bring the head across back to her. I'd rather die. I just stepped into the green path. Yeah, green path, pattern bush ahead. What if I step back into water path and try... Where is... Oh! For a second, it disappeared from the screen. Oran! It's another one. Another one. Where is... Where is... Where is... I took her! Come on now. You know what I want? Pirate booty. Where? Where is it? I really searched everywhere, but I cannot find it. Find them. I'm going to be grumpy. Okay, we're at the gate. What awaits me uh, on the other side, I don't even want to know. I'm going to end this episode here. So, hope you like it and surrounded by freaks. This is all. Actually, I'm going to restart the game, so I will have the music back. Here I am back. Alright, alright. From what I understood, this path is full of insects. And by insects, I mean bug Pokemon. Pattern Burst, Green Path, which is blue, Outcast Island, Altering Cave. I'm not ready for this. I am scared. Oh, it started raining. But it's just a field uh, of trainers. Okay, but I bet in this grass there are going to be bug Pokemon. Then again, it's raining, maybe... I don't know if it rains, bugs kinda go hide or something, maybe it's good for me. Maybe it's bad for Typhlosion. I wonder, these uh, people will have bug-type Pokémon? I'm not sure. That's probably the exit over there, I could just run for it. First of all, I'm going to put a, a Rappel, because I don't want to meet any bug, I'm sorry. Let's go with a nice Max Rappel. Well, I suppose I will have to defeat these people, because after all, this is a good training. So, I guess some gauntlet incoming. Let me check if there is any hidden item. Probably. No? Oh, I'm surprised. Well, let's check if these people actually have uh, bug-type Pokémon. I bet you think I'm just some guy, don't you, eh? Yes, you're just an NPC, youngster Cordell. Oh, Farfetch, okay, don't, they don't actually have uh, bug-type Pokémon as I thought. Uh, let's go for an uproar? What do I know? Okay. I like Farfetch. I didn't catch Farfetch, did I? I want a Farfetch. Another Farfetch. And another uproar. Well, that was quite easy. That almost looked like I defeated just a, a random guy, yeah? Huh? Hmm? A random gay? I bet you think I'm weak, Dutch! <laughs> that, that was funny. Okay, I forgive you. Ayup! What? What's that word? Ayup! You townies! Come around! Oh, you're what a redneck! I hope your town is coming around. I don't know how to do a redneck accent. I don't know how to do a, a pirate accent, but I not being a native English speaker. Your town is coming around, also dandy with a hat that fit that flashy. How about giving me that? Uh, don't you dare touching my hat or my hair ever. Okay, you're clearly a bug catcher. I mean, I want to train a bit my Typhlosion as well. Uh. But with the rain, uh, his fire attacks uh, will be less effective. Now let's try anyway. I caught a bug Pokemon that lives only around here. Good, I will kill it now. Garrett. And of course the music bugged. <laughs> Just, <laughs> that girl wants a Heracross. I'll show you what I do to your Heracross. Uh-huh. Thought so. I mean, I don't want to be mean to Heracross. It's really... It's, I don't find it disgusting. Hey, <laughs> is it my Pokemon? Oh, no! No, I hate it. I, and I hate you. There's a girl near the bush who measures Heracross for trainers. Oh! So it's like the the fisherman from the, the Rage Lake in... Uh, what, what was it? Pokemon Gold, I think. Just Gold. I don't know if it also was in Hard Gold. So that's why that guy said, my neighbor measured me. That's what he meant. Because that girl measures uh, people, I suppose, as well. 
I'm curious, how do you raise your Pokemon? Ah, Pokemon breeder Bethany, I thought you were an aroma lady. Chansey? Ah, I should have sent Sudowoodo. Will I be able to defeat... Uh, well, not even Chansey, I'm sorry, Blissey. Of course it's a Blissey. Egg bomb. Too late, bitch. You just hit me and killed me. Oh, come on. Light screen. Let's go for another fly. Another egg bomb. I tried to anticipate your Pokemon, considering that I thought you were a, a, an aroma lady. But, well, it worked anyway. Good job, Noctowl! Level 75. You raise your Pokemon with a whole lot of love. What do you know? How would you know? Because my Pokemon look very happy, of course. Okay, who is next? Uh, on my death list, on my death note. Suppose Sudovudo, even if, you know... It's rare that I can usually one-shot an enemy with my Sudovudo. Without actually having some damage. I love bug Pokémon, that's why I'm here all the time! Am I the only girl like that? I hope so. I hope you're the only person like that last... Johanna? Johanna? I don't know. You, uh, she loves bug Pokémon, she has a Grumble. Okay, sure. Okay, back then Grumble was normal type. So with a Rock Smash, we wouldn't be able to defeat it. But now Grumble is what, Fairy type? Should I go with a Rock Slide? I'll go with a Rock Smash, because I'm rebellious. Oh, it's not even very effective. <laughs> they brought fighting type Pokemon, or should I say fighting type moves, uh, from being super effective to being... Uh, <laughs> not very effective against Grumble and Snubble. Of course, my uh, Sudovudo got scared and ran away. I am not surprised. Well, sucks for you, because that was my weakest Pokemon. Therefore, a discharge by Ampharos is good enough. I lost, but I'm still laughing. Am I the only girl like that? You are weird. I don't want to see you ever again. I'm going to keep on collecting back Pokemon. How big was your collection till now? Zero? <laughs> Am I the only girl? Can you stop saying that? She has some problems. Okay, I see another bug catcher there. Mm, Typhusion, I know you don't like rain, really, but let's hold on to just burn uh, this bug catcher to the ground. Yeah, 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 look at all the bug Pokemon. No, I don't, because uh, I have uh, a Repelon. <laughs> I'm sorry, that, that was so silly of you thinking that I would actually face some bug Pokemon. No, I'll keep running away from my fears and never facing them. That's my strategy. Sooner or later, they will be tired of running after me. Or I could just move to the, I don't know, to Antarctica. Or to Greenland. Or Iceland. They don't have insects there. That sounds like a good strategy. Double flamethrower, Venonat and Venomoth should be gone. Nice. So how about your bug type Pokemon, Vance? I got beat while I was still busy celebrating. About what? About being stupid? About having horrible taste? Are you a tasteless person? Just like whoever watches my video? I'm just kidding. I wanna be young Sir Joy, but there can be only one after all over here. Let's send against Sudovudo, it's low, lowest level. Look, look! There are funny patterns on the ground! Well, Nash! I was seeing that the paths uh, had a weird shape. Okay, Weeping Bell. I don't know, let's send Typhlusion, I suppose. If he has Weeping Bell, Bellsprout and Victory Bell, it would be very good. Razor Leaf. <laughs> I don't want to waste all these flamethrowers, but I guess that that's the only attack that I can use. Bye, Weeping Bell. Ah, oh, sorry. I thought you were a bit original. Well, not even original. A bit less boring and had at least different Pokemon. But no, I guess you have three Weeping Bells, don't you? Because if one Weeping Bell fails... Oh, you actually have a Victory Bell. That's gonna go differently, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whoops. Whoops. Super awesome! How did... That's so cringy. Can you stop? It's almost cringier than my videos. All right, there is a nice... Uh, Fatty fat fat. I have to stop calling them like that. A nice hiker over here. Obviously, it's time for Kingler. Stop. It's Kingler time. It's crab time. Have you noticed something odd about these parts? Layton. Layton. Wasn't Layton. Uh, Professor Layton. A game made by. I don't know if it was made by Nintendo, but usually for Nintendo consoles. Sandslash. I'm sorry to defeat Sandslash. 
But I guess I have no choice, huh? Who is next? Onyx. At least Sandslash wasn't annoying and didn't have Sturdy, something that maybe Onyx will have. No? Oh, finally, finally. I can't believe I found a rock type Pokemon without Sturdy. Another Sandslash. Aw, well, another Surf. I suppose that theoretically, if you bring uh, a big head across uh, to that girl uh, in, the, in the little town thingy before the, these woods, uh, she will give you a prize or something? Have you taken a good look around your feet? Okay, fine, I will check the, the little map. Uh, look at your feet, but there are no items. Uh, let me check if I can see anything. Well, that doesn't look like anything to me. It just looks like random lines. Is that kanji? <laughs> what do I know? Stovudo is your turn again. Wow, okay, this lady is this lady is crazy. You can see by the way she moves. Uh, can you stop? Can you stop? Can you stop and face me for a second? Thank you. Oh, look! I think a bug stung me. Oh, that's why you were running around. Mercy. Well, I mean, if that's the case, uh, you probably need to, to heal. Uh, do you want an antidote? Which Pokemon can actually sting you other than Beedrill? That's the only one that I think of. Paras, I don't really doubt that. Rock Slide for a Paras is a bit wasted, but I mean, you can never be too sure when using a Sudovudo. And Parasect. Another Rock Slide. My Sudovudo didn't lose any health in this fight. I'm, I am, I am astonished. I flinch and I cannot move. I cannot use any attack. It wasn't a bug. I cut my shin on some grass. I don't know what's a shin, but then again, why did you say it was a bug? Did you... Can you stop being... Okay, I, I, I don't care. Let, let's go away. I, I, I am scared. There is this lady here, then a bug catcher, another camper, and another lady. Alright. Well, these people weren't that strong. Take a deep breath. Isn't the air delicious? Mmm, humidity. Mmm. <laughs> And bugs! Mm. <laughs> it's a ski bloom! Well, I'll see. I don't want to use uh, all my rock slides. So, if she has more of this type of Pokemon, I will send Noctowl. Yeah, I should probably. Let's go for another rock slide. And then that's it. I don't want to waste them all. Ski blooms are so adorable. Jump Luff. Okay, let's send Noctowl. Come on, my dear Owl. I acrobatics? Okay. I never heard of that attack. But we fly. Well, theoretically, Jump Luff flies as well. That's so cute. That's such a genius idea for a Pokemon. So underappreciated. Another Jump Luff. Another fly. At least. While... Uh, training so much uh, in the Savvy Islands, I will have to train less when I will have to go to, to Mount Silver. If you'd like, I can teach you how to breathe properly. I think I learned that in 27 years. Oh god, I'm so old. At this point, uh, we have this bug catcher and let's go with Typhlosion. I use Typhlosion against the bug catchers, but I could also use Noctowl. I mean, owls kind of eat bugs, don't they? You know, it just doesn't feel right if I don't use bug Pokemon. Yeah, it would feel so wrong if I would use bug Pokemon. Yanma! Don't worry, you won't be able to use them very soon. <laughs> <coughs> when I laugh a lot about how evil I am, I start coughing. Beedrill, that's probably one of the few bug types Pokemon that I kinda like. Uh, maybe because it's an angry uh, wasp. Well, Beedrill should be an angry bee, but... Kinda acts more like a wasp. And Typhlosion is level 76. Good job, my dear. Ah, the Ryama. Ah, the Flamethrower. Well, if I don't have any Pokemon Center nearby, uh, I will have to use some elixirs because my attacks are almost gone. Another Flamethrower. It would be a bit gruesome if I would use Noctowl against bad Pokemon, I mean... Nah, uh, I don't like them, but I wouldn't want them to get eaten by now. 
<laughs> well, there is no way because they're like as big as Noctowl, probably. So it's okay. Losing is a fun part of Pokemon's appeal, too. That's such a loser attitude. Not like me. I'm always a winner and always have a winner attitude, especially when uh, I don't find an item and I absolutely don't get angry with it. So the Voodoo is time to train again. I'm working to preserve the natural ecology of Pokemon here. Oh. Uh, Okay, I see, Alison. It's a Clefairy! This time I won't make the same mistake. I won't use uh, Rock Smash, because I know that it's absolutely useless. Faint Attack, Rock Slide, let's go for a Faint Attack, I suppose. Let's see if... So the... Oh, also Dark Type is not effective. Damn it. Gravity. Gravity intensified! Well, Rock Slide. I hate to use Rock Slide for everything, but usually Sudovudo has only <laughs> useless attacks. I could go for a Slam, but usually they, they, they fail. Let's try. I never really use this attack. Oh, that's super effective. How can my Sudovudo always find a way to get his ass kicked uh, by everybody and everything? All right, Clefairy. It was a pleasure. Clefable. Okay, no, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm not staying here to get my ass kicked by Clefable. Let's go Sandslash, come on. I didn't use Sandslash enough in this episode. Minimize? Damn it. Uh, that's such an, un an annoying attack. <laughs> you tried to sing to my Sandslash that was underground. I only fell asleep. I still need to understand how can the other trainers instead don't fall asleep, but how does sing even work in the anime? Considering that when Jigglypuff sings, uh, everybody around him uh, starts falling asleep. How does it work? I don't actually remember. Oh, for someone so young, thank you! I'm probably older than you, but you are tremendous. Is that a personal attack? Is that like a personal attack or something? Is that an insult? <laughs> Only one trainer left, and then I can finally go inside once again. I mean, what, that sounds weird. This is a good spot. I'll pitch my tent here. Under the rain? That must be fun. That's why I never went camping. Okay, Pinsir. Another Pokemon that I would be terrified of in real life. Roll out. I wish I had my Pokemon to defend me from insects in real life. Thrash. I always use this attack. But another rollout, and Pinsir is gone. Hopefully, the next Pokémon will also have weakness against Rock-type. Heracross! Great! Great! Just destroy it! Get it out of my face! Get Do not literally, because I would be screaming and burning my face off uh, with a flamethrower. Oh, Jesus. If that was the case... But luckily... That never happened. Hopefully it will never happen. And if it would, you would never hear of it because I would kill myself right after. Good job, Sandslash. Wimped out. Okay, I've had enough. Let's go inside. Let's go inside and... Ah, uh, dry. Dry. What's next anyway? Oh. And it looks like that there is a nice path, a water path, with more trainers and probably a cave over there. Unfortunately, there is an emergency over here. Uh, well, okay, emergency. I have business to attend and I cannot continue, so I will continue another day, but it will be just a few seconds for you. Bye! Hello, hello, hello! I am back! Just in a few seconds for you, but... Uh, oh, it still rains. It actually rains today here, so it's actually accurate. Alright, so what do we have left? Green path, think green, keep nature clean, and I agree! But why is this the green path? What? what? Uh, I don't understand. I never understand anything. Ah! Ah, uh, where is it? Where is it? I don't think it's here. Which probably means it's on one of those islands. Uh, Alright, should I use the rappel? Yes, yes, let's use the rappel. The music will bug anyway, because I already saw, yeah, there are more trainers. There are quite some trainers on Six Island. It's an island full of trainers. So I'm sorry if it's a bit redundant, or however you say that. Ah! You tried an ambush! But it didn't work, Psychic! You're not such a good psychic, you should have known 
that I was coming from that way. Well, don't worry. Sudovudo is ready to take you on. Uh, Sudovudo is never ready, let's be honest. Please don't bug the music. Please don't bug the music. I want that. Uh, I was envisioning my house, but this is where I teleport? What? You don't know how to teleport, Psychic Jack. I mean, that would be quite an accomplishment. If you could do that. Okay, Xatu. Oh, I have only four rock slides, so... I either stop using Sudovudo, or I use an elixir, Ever, whatever. Who is next? Slowbro! Oh, well, Sudovudo has faint attack, but for sure it won't defeat Slowbro in one hit. And I don't want my Sudovudo to get nuked by some psychic, some water types attack by Slowbro, which only had psychic, actually. But not a problem, I will use a discharge. I still have plenty of discharges. Good, because I have to face Swimmers now. You have to electrocute them to be sure that they are defeated. And who is last? Alakazam! Well, my Ampharos has also Signal Beam, so at this point let's just go for it. Uh-huh, you didn't think that uh, I had a super effective attack against Psychic Pokémon, huh? My Ampharos is multi-use. Big Boo Boo! <laughs> what? <laughs> what in the world? I am so scatterbrained! I need to focus so I can teleport properly to my house. Oh, so you teleported here? It's like you were probably a <laughs> few steps outside of your house, just testing your teleporting abilities, and you teleported out here. <laughs> probably you live like in Johto or even further away. Outcast Island? Oh, wait a second. I almost forgot. I have to check if here there is an item. You are hiding something, don't you? Aren't you, I mean. And if an item does not appear... Ah, right. Otherwise, I would have asked you to pull down your pants. I mean, what? Ultra Ball. No more items. So the Voodoo seems to be concerned about the room below. Well, I mean, either Sudovudo is stupid as usual, which is the most probable uh, answer, or uh, uh, it's actually walk, and I didn't realize there was a room below over there. All right, swimmers, so it means Ampharos. My dear Sheep Giraffe is feeling better, and now it's time to annihilate and probably bug the music. It's just too easy sending Pokémon out while swimming. Yeah. I actually realized that the music bugged even before starting the fight. Oh no, it's a Zoomeril. I don't want to defeat uh, cute water bunny, but well, discharge anyway. <laughs> I mean, I, I am merciful but merciless. Well, yes, but actually no. Good job, Ampharos. Level 76. Ah, I can't wait to edit the music in once again. I didn't lose to you at swimming. This doesn't bother me. Well. Mind you that if there is one single sport I should be kinda good at, it, that's swimming. I swam for so long. Are you headed for the island up past here? I didn't see anything interesting there. No, I'm headed that way, you know, towards the ocean. I don't even know where we go over there. Well, I, I don't know. I, I don't know which continent, which region you, you arrive to, if you keep going that way. But anyway, let's go for more... Uh, Swimmers to annihilate and electrocute. Oh! Hello? Big sister, help! Please battle with me! <laughs> it's like he didn't even want to, to fight me, but I was like, yeah, you! <laughs> you fight now and die! Because I will electro electrocute you with discharges from my Ampharos. Yeah, that's right. Uh, uh huh, where is your big sister? I mean, I know she's next to you, but uh, where is where is her Pokemon? Oh, there it is, Starmie. Yeah, that's gonna do much. Another discharge. The only thing I have to worry about is not to finish these discharges. So I will uh, save one elixir slash ether. I never remember which one I should use. Swimmer, Gab was the. <laughs> what? Is this a typo? Is this like irony? Because he doesn't know how to swim very well, so his title is Swimmer. <laughs> swim? Are, are, are you sure, sure about that? that? Are you sure he's actually a swimmer? Well, big sister, this person's really good. Not really. I mean, I mean, yes, really, but it's you that you cannot really know that because you were very bad. Ava. 
You know, I do prefer the sea over any pool. I don't. I prefer the pools because there are no sharks in the pools. <laughs> Am I sure about that though? Plus, salt water is not really. I'm not really a fan of that. <laughs> I swam here from Six Isle Port in one go. Ha! <laughs> ha! And that should impress me. He was also called Swimmer with uh, uh, a question mark, so. It's probably a typo, I suppose. For a second I thought it was on purpose. I don't want to defeat Kingler, but I guess. Sorry. Oh, Blastoise! Well, that's surprising. I mean, I will defeat it, one-shot him with a Discharge as well, but... That's actually a good Pokémon. Good job! You had a weird name, didn't you? Yeah, you see, Zwimber? <laughs> are we sure that this is Zwimber? Who knows? Maybe uh, we are tricking you. Mimo. Okay, or Mimo. I'm only at ha the halfway point. I'm beat. What do you mean halfway point? Are you stupid? Oh, halfway point because he wants to go back. All right. Makes sense. Well, I don't know how much it would be in real life. Then again, why are you complaining? I, I am being dragged underwater by my crab, so I have to hold my breath uh, throughout all this travel. Wait. Oh! A steam rocket! I didn't expect that. Look at those sexy pink hair. Never disappoints me. Well, this will take an unexpected turn. Aha! Uh -huh. I see a piece, a star piece over there. But let me check if there is anything to collect also around here. Oh, I see someone else over there. Is that a fisherman? So that swimmer told me that... Uh, oh, there is also... Uh, I can't really see what's that... Netball? Something like that? Yes, there is a fisherman. So... Can I maybe, like... <laughs> he didn't notice me. <laughs> How he didn't notice me, I don't know. But he didn't notice me. Well, let's defeat him. I'm having no luck at all. A bottle be change of pace. Aha, uh -huh, sure, count on that. Tyler? Okay. I know about Tyler, but not Tyler. So that swimmer earlier told me that there is really nothing particular in this uh, on this island. Is that a, a way to tell me that you know the, the thing that there is on this island is uh, secret, or <laughs> it's just to tell me oh there is literally nothing here? Go back. You don't need to explore any further. Well, two cuttlefish, so it's really not that difficult. Michael Fish. So, how how was this change of pace? Huh? Nope, no luck at all. It's not luck. Uh, I mean, there is... I, I know you can be lucky or unlucky, but if you just have bad Pokémon, uh, it's not going to do much being lucky. I can very well go home without catching something. Oh, wait! Are you the husband of the lady from Five Island? But there's no way. It's like... Well, actually, theoretically, it's not far away. Look, he actually could be. There was a lady over here in Five Island telling me, oh, my husband is not back yet. Uh, he told me not to not to worry for dinner because he would have caught something. Well, Outcast Island is actually quite close, uh, so he might have took his boat and come here, I suppose. But where is the boat? I don't know. Maybe my crew, my pirate, actually sunk it and now he's stranded there forever. His wife will die of starvation. I, I, I don't want to be this mean, come on. I, I really I, I really have no problem with her, nor with him. I might have a problem with this Team Rocket member if he doesn't let me access the cave. But first, uh, let's take a selfie. Yes, this is... Thank you. Netball? Nice. It's good against Bug-type Pokémon. So, oh, I can use it to catch the head across. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. And a star piece. But also against Pokemon that you fish. Alright, here we have uh, a Team Rocket Grant. I'll send my Noctowl in case uh, he wants to fight. Oh. Stay back, kid! I was asked not to let anyone enter this crucial spot for our future operation. Dot dot dot. So you're not moving? You, I didn't even really have the chance to do that, but... I have rare Pokemon, and they're really angry now. Oh, oh, watch out, we got a badass here. I'll take it out on you. Mm -hmm. I'll take it out on you, but beating you up. What in the world is that? What in the world is that? Is that trash? 
Garbodor, yeah, garbage. All right, what type could it be? Poison, I suppose. Uh, that's what, it's like some kind of a grimer. So how about Psychic? Yes, it's super effective, good. Otherwise I should have sent Senseless. That was a rare Pokemon? That was, I mean, it might be rare, I don't know, but I, I wouldn't think it's, uh, oh, Watchhog. Yeah, I've seen this Pokemon. I've seen this Pokemon and I have no idea what type it, it is. I don't know, Fly? It won't be super effective, but I don't know what type this Pokemon is. Psychic, maybe. Hyper Fang. That's normal type. Ah, close. Slam. Eh, eh. Don't be ridiculous. A Psychic. And you will be done for it. Yes, these rare Pokemon are working very good. Look, my very common Noctowl evolved from Hutut. It's doing pretty well, huh? All right, Crocodile. Crocodile? Crocodile? I mean, it sounds weird to just... Oh, Crocodile. Or Crocodile? Who knows? It's a level 1 Crook. It's a, well, it's a level 50 Crook. Being ground type, I could... Oh, it's ground and uh, dark, uh, if I remember correctly. I can't even use Psychic. Let, let's go with Fly, come on, I want to trust my Noctowl. What's up? Foul play. Na na. Na na na. Ah, that's quite the defense. Foul play. Alright, I see how it is. But another Fly. And guess who's gonna go KO? Not my Noctowl, I hope. I suppose you can only use foul play against my Noctowl. Oh, come on. Uh, all right, you wanted it. You wanted it. Fine then. Fine then. Uh huh. Uh huh. And now I want to see that. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Do something to my Kingler. I dare you. Well, we already did. Yeah. Try to avoid. Try to resist the surf. It's even raining. Oh 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 oh. oh bye. It's actually a cool Pokemon. I like it. Or even critical hit. I annihilated this crocodile. A crocodile that does not like water. That's new to me. Zwubat. Uh, oh wait, isn't this uh, uh, the evolution of uh, a Pokemon that uh, James from Team Rocket had? Ice Beam, since it's flying. Aha, super effective. Nice, good job, Kingler. Kingler is becoming a powerhouse in my team. So, Team Rocket Grant, uh, your sexy hair wasn't enough. My Pokemon! Gah! Who even cares about those stupid islands and their weird Pokemon anyway? I'll go back to the Unova branch. Oh, okay. So it's like one of the newest regions, I suppose. He left something behind. It's a Seamer! Another Seamer! More pirate booty for me, you mean? Liberty Seamap! Oh, that is interesting! I can't wait. Let's check it. Actually, I want to keep it as, as a surprise. Let's restart the game and check it. It was at this moment he fucked up. Okay, I am back. And as you can see, it's quite darker. That's because like one hour and a half passed. I don't know what happened. My game keeps crashing. And this might be a, a serious problem, a warning problem. I rebooted the game, but it just wouldn't load my save file. It would just keep crashing and giving me an error. And uh, I really don't know what's the problem. Not right now I'm playing it beca just because once he decided to load properly. One time out of 20. Keep the rappel on, at least a small one, because I already read uh, on the interwebs that this is another very anticlimactic ending of an episode. So it, it tells me that there is an index uh, that doesn't have the right value. I don't know, it just randomly loads sometimes, and I am worried, because uh, I'm afraid I will lose all my data, or maybe the, the save file is corrupt, or something like that. And look at this cave, this is the altering cave. It's empty, there is nothing in it. I'm using our apple because I've just read on Bulbapedia that this cave contains only Zubats. Basically, this was a cave that Nintendo made to host events in it with uh, the Mr. Gift. And uh, not only it's an empty cave with almost nothing in it by default, but it wasn't 
even ever used uh, to hold Evans in it. So it's literally just an empty cave. That swimmer over there was right, telling me that there is nothing in this cave. This sixth island was the island of disappointment, was the island of anti-climate, and I am terribly sorry. There is nothing I can do except hoping now that next island, next episode will be more exciting, but especially that the game will actually work. My Noctowl is faring very badly, I have to heal it. Maybe the problem is the location that bugs it, because it's not like I ever changed anything from uh, the game files nor anywhere else on the computer in this Minos that I'm playing it, in this uh, hour that I'm playing it today or yesterday for that matter so, so I am back at the harbor I'm going to quickly heal my Pokemon and then get out from this cursed island and save in, in another island so hopefully maybe changing location will, will change something for next episode I suppose uh, let's go back to our matey and let's get out of here. Ahoy there, let's get out from this cursed island. Next one is Seven Island. Let, let's go as fast as possible. All aboard, uh, maximum power with the engines. Seven Island, it's very nice as a place. It looks good enough. There is a giant tower over there. It's not even raining in this place. And I am going to pass the night at the Pokemon Center. Hopefully, I will wake up and I will still be alive. I will probably try to back up the save files and see if uh, uh, I can, you know, maybe have um, another chance. But, well, this is for next episode. I am sorry for the disappointment. I am disappointed as well. And I'm worried. Hopefully, it will be solved. Hope you like it and surrounded by freaks. See you next time. Bye-bye.